Hey chickies, here at Oh My Gosh Polish, mistakes will be made. As per usual, it'll be loads of fun, so should you stuff that up. <laughs> Doesn't matter, let's get into today's nail art. <laughs> Oh gosh, this doesn't bode well for this video. Anyway, it's okay. We'll just do a reset. Um, so today I'm doing drip drop nail art. I am, um, now this is inspired by Colette from My Simple Little Pleasures. She did this uh, a little while, a, a little while ago. Uh, and I thought I would give it a go. So thank you so much to Colette for bringing this to our attention. And let's get into it. I really hope you like it. <laughs> So all of the polishes I'm using today are from INM Nails. They sent me a lovely package the other day, so I thought I would use four of the colours from their new collection. Now, when I first saw uh, Colette from My Simple Little Pleasures do this, she did it on the underside of a yogurt tin lid or a yogurt lid, but I didn't have any yogurt lids, so I decided, well, why not use my squishy stamper, the glittery, yummy, delicious one from Uber Chic Beauty. So I thought, well, I mean, that's definitely going to work. So that's why I'm using that rather than a yogurt lid. But you can, if you have a yogurt lid, you can use that as well. Alternatively, I think you could probably use your, uh, if you have a silicone mat, you could use that as well. You just need to put it on a surface where you, it's going to be easy to peel off later once it's dried. Now this was my first go and I don't know if you've noticed, I took the stamper head out of the stamper and then turned the holder upside down and just sat it on the bottom part of the of the actual holder, so just so you know. Uh, now I, I wasn't really happy with this particular version of what I did. I'm not really sure. It just it didn't seem to be moving around like I wanted it to and so I just took it off and started again. <laughs> okay so this is round two and uh, I, I think it was m much more successful this particular um, or this the second one that I did. <laughs> so Something to remind, something to be mindful of is you have to work pretty quickly with this because obviously polish dries a lot faster than regular paint. So uh, if you want to get that really wonderful sort of um, stretched out kind of uh, effect, I guess, uh, you need to be um, working pretty quickly because you want the polish to start moving around the surface that you're putting it on so that you can create those really cool designs. Now uh, I did actually uh, come back in and add more polish while I was still sort of working with it so just so you know I did do that. <laughs> but I absolutely, I mean I'm not even kidding about this, absolutely adore how this came out in the end as I usually do. <laughs> now you'll continue moving the uh, the thing that you're putting your polish on around until you like what you see. Just be also mindful of how long your nails are and how big the surface or the big the design is that you're creating. My nails are quite short so I didn't have to do a lot to get a piece that was going to cover it. Now I think because this is quite time consuming insofar as not actually doing it but then you have to sit around and wait for it to dry before you can actually use it I would suggest uh, an accent nail is probably the best sort of thing to go for and that's what I ended up doing I probably wouldn't ever do enough to uh, to do all four nails although you know if you had a, a larger surface obviously like the yogurt lid which was really successful for Colette uh, that would probably be you know perfect size I guess to to do or to create some of these uh, designs for all of your nails but I like the idea of the accent now once you've finished you just need to sit it somewhere where the cat's not going to get it <laughs> or a small child or something somewhere safe and just leave it for a couple of hours until it's completely dry in the meantime I'm going to paint the nail that this uh, design is going to go on with some white polish from INM Nails. This one's called White Porcelain. It's almost a one coat of white. I do. I forgot how much I love this polish. I got them to send me another fresh bottle of it and oh my gosh. It's, it's really, really, really close to being a one coater without having that uh, thing where it dries really quickly. It's really good. And then the black polish that I'm using is also from INM and that's called Black Hole. Not quite, but very close to being a one coat of black polish as well. So those two, their black and whites have always been 
I've always loved them, but I completely forgot all about them. Silly. But yeah, really good. On my index nail, I'm going to be using this gorgeous new blue from their collection called Humanity. I really like this one. Really pretty. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it and it's almost opaque in one coat. So, yay. And yes, I'm giving you a nail cleanup on in this video. For those of you who love it, enjoy. For those of you who don't, please skip ahead now. Top coat I'm going to be using today is also a new one from INM Nails. It's their top coat, top coat, top coat called Curiosity. It, it is red, I guess. It's a gel-like top coat. No need for lights or anything like that. Works quite beautifully. I, I really, I do, I like it. It's, it's a really nice top coat. Very shiny. Okay, so now I waited about four or five hours for this to completely dry. I probably didn't have to wait that long, but I was really busy doing other things that the, the day that I did this. So, uh, uh, yeah, just be careful. If you think it's dry, then give it a go. Try and peel it off. Um, like, I, because it's a lot thicker than what maybe something like a, a regular decal you might make on a silicone mat it's going to take longer to dry and but it's also going to be thicker and therefore a little less easily manipulated onto your nails so just be mindful of that and the next step once you've got it off whatever it is that you you've left it on to dry is to choose which part which what which part of I can't speak today which part of the design that you you want to put on your nail and then you're going to need to cut down cut it down and cut the excess off now if you're unsure of um, the placement on your nail all you need to do is just lay it over the top of your nail and just kind of guesstimate I guess what you know what the shape of your nail is and and I actually use an orange wood stick and stuck holes in it down the sides and that gave me a really good guide of where to cut so but be gentle with it because if you wait for as long as I did it might be quite brittle mine was getting to that point where it wasn't going to be very easy to manipulate so I wish I hadn't have wait I hadn't have waited that long for it to dry I think now over that white nail, I'm using again Iron Nail Nails Curiosity. I'm just using a very, very thin coat of that and that will serve as the um, adhesion or adhesive um, thing to stick it down. <laughs> you can use any top coat. I just happen to have that one really close to me, so that's the one I picked up. So now the next step really is to try and get it to be nice and flush with your nail. Um, I'm using some uh, my, just my regular non-acetone remover and my cleanup brush and what that does is helps to melt it onto your nail. Now I could just do a, a thing of top coat over the top but I wasn't sure how it was going to react so I wanted to do this first and it, it was time consuming. It took a lot longer than I thought it was going to but that was simply because it, the polish I was or, or the, the thing that I created was quite thick. Um, and that's the only reason, but yeah, it did take me a while. 
I guess especially at the tip, it took me, oh gosh, it felt like a long time, but I'm sure it really wasn't as long as I thought it was. <laughs> I, I think it was probably five minutes, but it felt like half an hour, even though I know it wasn't. <laughs> but just, it, I mean, it's really important to be very gentle at this point. You don't want to get go all gung-ho because you'll probably ruin your whole design and if you've waited for as long as I, I did to get that onto your nail, <laughs> It would be really disappointing, but oh my gosh, I just love the design. It's just, I don't know, I really love it. Now, once you've done all of that and you're happy with it, you can go ahead and seal it in with your favourite top coat or your final top coat. I'm using, again, Iron and Nails Curiosity just because I have it and I thought I'd give it a go. But I also wanted to show you this. These are the cutoffs, the bits that I didn't use. And that wavy one, oh my gosh, I'm keeping that one. You may very well see that in, an, in a video or on a nail art uh, is sometime in the future. I don't want to get rid of it because I really love it. So anyway, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> and that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. Thank you again to Colette for the inspiration for this one. I absolutely adore how it came out. I really can't speak today. I absolutely adore how it came out. I really, really, I did not want to take it off. I was mm, just... I'm in, I'm, I'm in awe of it. So there you go. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Oh, and don't forget to go and watch my previous video. And please, subscribe. It's free. I'm going now. Bye. <laughs>